today we have with us none other than bobby deol and director of love hostel shankar raman uh, bobby sir shankar raman ji welcome to desi ma tv thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you uh, my first question would be to shankar ji you know what inspired you to make a film like love hostel uh i don't know i was just uh, looking to so i tell you i mean i i would say the inception of the idea came from raghav uh drishim films he called me one day and he said let's do something together we were trying to put something together uh, you know we had hit some sort of a uh, you know a uh, barrier with that and he said oh i have another story i want to tell you so he told me a story about safe homes in haryana and and i was very intrigued by that and then he told me about a character called dagar who is this mercenary kind of person who you know he he is the final frontier for you know um star cross lovers so so i said oh, okay so it was set in haryana which was great because that's i grew up in delhi and i'm very familiar with those with that milieu and hmm. it's only when i stepped out of that milieu i saw that uh, oh it's uh, these are bad lands i mean <laughs> for when i was living there it seemed all right huh. you know it seemed like regular you know day regular day so uh, so when i went back and i did some research and so searching and i i said yeah this is something i can do i think what struck me really was this idea of uh, having a safe home which means that you need something called a safe home only because you live in an unsafe place and uh, it was ironical for me it was like a contradiction uh i mean why are we unsafe was the question and what is the basis of this unsafeness so um you know we all go through life where we face one challenge after another whether it's paying your rent or it's putting your children to school or it's getting dinner and doing dishes or whatever it is you know we all face challenges and we also face an extraordinary uh uh we face extraordinary situation in those challenges where we can't help but look for a villain somebody to tack the blame on and why we are suffering or why we are upset or why we are why our life is not working so okay. this tendency to do that is what uh, excited me for this place that like, you know your lives are not working you don't feel safe and there has to be a bad guy yeah. there has to be somebody in your way but what if this guy is also in the same place just a different color wow. you see so that's what helped me enter this world uh, it was and what i'm sharing with you is just a thought it's mm. not a, it's not a plot yet but uh, ultimately the plot of the film is Uh, you know came from there ha huh. it's like uh, something that uh, raman and raghav uh, got together so well <laughs> that experience <laughs> well that... <laughs> yeah yeah that's true and you know i would say gaurav uh, vikram and raghav they were really championing the story it was when i did the first narration with gaurav uh, in the series uh they immediately saw that they, this this can be converted and you know for a director it's not possible to convert an idea into a uh, reality without that championing you mm. see and i felt very fortunate that we had a very good core team that was you know one of my mentors told me he says you know uh, he said you have to sell your script only to three people one is first is to yourself uh the second is to somebody who's championing the project and the third is the bank roller so so you don't have to worry about anyone else and if these three people buy it, then you're good then you can trust that you can make a good film and uh, i think uh, uh, even when we narrated to bobby uh, i would say he championed the project he he, he wasn't uh, coming from a place of how long is my part or what it is he he really took to us i suppose and i he took to the story idea and also uh i think his his the the relationship that we built 
along the way is what has uh, fueled what you saw today. So I would be lying if I said I had all this in mind. Uh, I think this was just something that emerged over the course of time. Wow. And uh, Bobby, sir, you said yes to a character like Dagar. And uh, we have seen this uh, like in the trailer. This is the guy who can kill at the drop of a hat. But to play such an intense character, to play a character like this, how did you get into the skin of someone like Dagar? See, when I read the script and when I had discussions with Shankar, I understood what my character was all about. He was a man like who was doing something in his life because even he was, uh, his love was stolen from him. Okay, he was uh, cheated. He felt cheated. He lost someone he loved. That he thought he, but he thought he, he always believed that he was the saintly man trying to purify the world. Hmm. Yeah. So that's the kind of character he is. And I think uh, I've been trying to do different stuff. And and for me, I think human beings are defective people. You know, you see bad people, good people. Why? Because the bad people. Don't fight the bad, they let it out. And good people are good people because they fight the bad in them wow. and stay good. So that's how we are. We are selfish, we are greedy, we are manipulative. We have all these things in us. So if you just bring those thoughts out while performing a character, which is negative, it helps you, I think. Wow, that's very well put, I must say. But... Uh... Obviously, like you are the Bobby Deol. I have seen, uh, like I've grown up watching your films. So, uh, True. also, <laughs> you know, when you play a character like this, an intense character like this, it also gets very, uh, it gets onto you, right? You, you have to think about this character, have to, uh, have to go through the thought process, and at times it stays with you for a long time it takes time to get out of the character did that happen to you it does happen sometimes it does you know it's like if the whole day even when you joke with someone the whole day and keep pulling someone's leg eventually in the evening you start feeling guilty about it you know that happens when friends are pulling someone's leg all throughout the day and then they don't realize they're being rude but they have actually ended up hurting someone so when you act or perform, you're doing a character, you keep doing it, you're doing the scene, you're doing the scene. Hmm. Somewhere it comes to your mind, why am I being like this? You know, but then eventually, somehow, I can take myself away from reality and fiction. It just happens to me automatically. I do not need to see a shrink after I do a movie like this or go to someone to talk to me about it. You know, definitely, there are moments where you feel that way. Hmm. You know, especially uh, when I was doing ashram. I think that was my first experience of being really negative. Right. And I used to feel like, oh my God. You know, I used to come back in the evening and then in the evening I used to meet the same people I was rude to. Or whatever <laughs> I did to them in the scene. And I would just sit with them and I'm having a, a chat with them or eating dinner with them, laughing about things, thinking about tomorrow what we're shooting. So I think it just takes away, it breaks, you know, it just takes you away from everything. But uh, I don't know, I mean, a lot of actors who get worked up, who get uh, really, really badly influenced mm. with the characters they play. But I think uh, luckily, I've been brought up in a family which uh, keeps me sane. So mentally, maybe I get sane easily. And then I had Shankar there to keep me sane. <laughs> Every time I had moments where I was kind of losing it, he would always be there to calm me down. Wow. Yeah. That's the kind of partnership that gives us something as Dhasu as uh, Love Hostel. I mean, I was like, I have told you a lot of times. The moment I saw the trailer, I was like, oh my God, what are we gearing up for? But uh, also, uh, Shankar, you know, um, uh, when you, for something like Love Hostel, this is, we have seen the journey of star-crossed lover. We have seen them cross, uh, you know, uh, hardships across their own, you know, roadblocks. But uh, to see, to get this gory kind of turn in everything, this is something that has a lot of blood. 
this is something that is a lot of thing and it's just there so why did you choose to take that kind of route like the route that is on your face instead of like settling it down oh well i i don't know sometimes you see you know film is not made overnight it's done over a period of time so i would say that a lot of the choices that are made were had a, have a certain legitimacy of a thought process over time mm. uh i can't say I, i decided to make it this so to uh respond to what you're saying about in your face uh you know sometimes it takes something of that magnitude to get your attention right. um sometimes i still don't have your attention even after that and uh-huh. either way there is something there and i think if you, when you see the film uh you will i feel like you your your question will be addressed okay and i feel that what you're asking is not a question really your inquiry there's mm. an inquiry there mm. and i feel that that's a that's a very healthy place because you're an active viewer that's engaging with something uh as an extension of her own life and i feel like this 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 film will that it will give you a sense of why it belongs uh because it it feel like a trailer especially mm. it may feel sensational or you know over the top or just you know stuff oh. that was not required of course we all like pretty things and we are like we like pretty things so much that we suppress our desires and dreams because we don't want to offend other people i mean that's how we live mm. we're wearing a mask the whole time and only we know the pain of being us So so the point is the sometimes the risk is thing to tell the truth of yourself about how you feel otherwise you're constantly saying how what you think hmm. so sometimes it takes getting that attention to for someone to listen to how you feel and i'm not saying i'm advocating it <laughs> i'm just saying uh-huh, that it's just it's it's just part of it's part of the spirit of that world it's uh, like a form of expression and uh, i think sure that's, yes and i also think that the fact that the film is releasing on ott uh, is a big boost for the uh, an intense film like this because a lot of viewers can take their own time in digesting what they are getting do you feel that way yeah i mean i mean look if you're there in front of your television watching something then 99% of the work is going to be done by you yeah. because we already have them <laughs> so yes so it's a ready so, and yeah so you're you're there and once you're there uh, i am quite certain that you won't leave uh you will go through the emotions of watching this film and you will stay there um, i feel certain about that uh, i mean i i feel i i feel encouraged to think so because uh you know the hardest part is sometimes to get people to see something right you know to commit to something like you buy a ticket and go to the theater or you actually sit down and you and you mm-hmm. tune into that particular channel whatever but i i feel like once you're there you're going to you're going to have a hell of a ride okay and uh, bobby ji uh, you know when you are doing like back to back we have seen you doing a lot of negative characters does it ever bother you that this might get you into stereotyping or are you at this point in your career that is the least of your bothersons see when i look at characters i don't look at them as negative or positive i look at them as characters which intrigue me which have substance which which uh, call out to me to play them you know so for me i don't look at the negative i think this is this if i play this role i'm being the hero because even a negative i think see is a hero huh. you know it's the audiences which look at it in that way so for me yeah i mean uh, typecast i have been typecasted for the last 25 years so i don't have the fear of that because uh, eventually i have broken out of that and i've done different kinds of characters 
class of 83, I was totally positive. People appreciated that. Ashram became a phenomenon. So people saw the negativity, uh, the negative side of my character, the negative character I played, but it had, I, it was such a negative character, yet it got the most positive response. So end of the day, he became the hero. For the audiences who watch movies, not, and, and, and uh, they enjoy the actors portraying a character, you know. So for me, I believe uh, if I have to keep doing negative roles and if, I, and if they have substance in them and they have the, what I want to play, I keep playing them because I think I enjoy them. But at the same time, I am going to de definitely try to do different stuff. And uh, so that's the way an actor's life moves on. You know, it, it's like there was a time when a hero ki love story chal the love stories banti rehti thi. Hmm. Comedy chal the comedy banti but look at Amjit ji, look at Amrish ji. They have done variety of roles, you know. They just they were just not negative always. They were considered as uh, these awesome actors who could play any character. So I think there's a space for something like that for an actor. And I hope to be in that position where I can do roles which leave a mark and uh, people enjoy it. Okay, and since this is also very different from what we have seen Bobby Dale do, like from the look of it, from how your character speaks, how did you prepare? How did you sink your teeth into this character? Well, first day I cried to Shankar. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Shankar, why, 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 why? Yeah, I, I we, cancel it. Out, we cancel the meeting. I had to, I had to <laughs> let it all out for, in front of him. Why can't you <laughs> dare to speak normally? But that was just a cry of someone who was being, uh, who, who wanted to be in his comfort zone. Yeah. And, and it wasn't just I was forcing him. I said, no, I will do it. But why? Why you want it like this? But then I enjoyed the whole process <laughs> of learning the language. And uh, it, it has so much of, uh, what do I say? Uh, I just started enjoying it. It was just something I was like, it was like I've learned how to sing and I'm singing, you know, and, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. something which is so difficult to do. So for me, it was like speaking this language and I was just enjoying it. And I was all the time petrified and insecure that am I saying it the right way? Mm -hmm. So Shankar and uh, Yogi. Yogi, his assistant, who's yeah. there in the movie as well. Yogi was really helpful. Okay. Because Yogi and uh, Shankar go a long way back. And uh, even though Shankar is from Chennai, basically, he lived his life in Haryana, side, Delhi side. So he speaks Haryana so well himself. You know, imagine that. I mean, I, so it was just the whole, they were all into it and they knew exactly how to keep me going with it. And I think I, when I, now when I've started doing movies or web series, I work out, I do my workshops. Hmm. I see to it that I am prepared on set. I cannot let any stone being unturned. I, I mean, I have to, you know, it's like I have to, can't give an excuse anymore. You know, I have to be prepared because God doesn't give you chance every other time. Wow. Wow. And uh, for an actor like you who has been a part of the industry for 20 years and still like seeing this, it's a big thing. And <laughs> Before we let you go, Shankar, uh, you as well, uh, I would like to ask you, what's the one reason, one, if you can wrap it up on one reason, what's the one reason why you shouldn't be miss missing Love Hostel? Shankar, we'll start with you. Bobby, Vikran, Sanya, three reasons. Wow. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I can tell you straight up, just, uh, I, you know, go celebrate their performance. I mean, just it's it's uh, it's just going to set the screen on fire. I think I, I personally feel Zinia that actors are uh, acting is is a fine art, and that you allow that you permit and you invite an audience to glimpse into your soul is an act of courage. And I'm saying, go watch it for that. Because that is the most profound human interaction. And uh, that is on screen. Everything else is just there, of course. I mean, you know, it's not like it's lesser or more, but 
just celebrate that you know, wow that wow. exchange that's, that's very well put and uh, bobby deol ji aap ke liye see for me i think shankar has not done much work no one has seen the world he creates every time he does a movie and i think what you excites you is see you see the same stories being spoken and told so many times you'll see great actors perform but the it's the overall feel of the film which is also a character by itself and i think shankar creates this world in which you see all this the story being spoken you know and you'll see these characters playing their parts so i think that creates the magic of this film so i think that is one of the reasons why you should go watch the film wow and with that we'll wrap up the interview thank you so much i mean i can't tell you how excited i was for this interview thank you so much it was an absolute delight talking to the both of you and thank you for joining with desi man tv it was fun talking to you yeah pleasure